Hello everyone. My goodness, do we ever have a toy. We have finally gotten a toy that I've been wanting for many, many years, and they've finally made the mod for it. So, without further ado, let's get to uh, our toy here. We're just going to hop on here, and we're going to check this bad boy out. Look at that. We got a D11. I know it doesn't have the name Caterpillar on it, but we all know it's a Caterpillar. Look at the logo. That there is a caterpillar if I ever saw it. And this beast is huge. There we go, D11T. This thing is just beautiful. I haven't even driven this thing yet. I just want to quickly make a video before I even try it out. So yeah, controls look really nice. Everything's very well laid out. We got our little GPS going on in the background. Looks like we got dual engines on this thing too. Dual air cleaners. My goodness, I can't wait. So what we also have, we've got our little three-point attachment unit. I'm going to jump to the back. Just have a peek. There we go. So that should help us with uh, if we want to hook up other implements, you know, just because Farm Simulator is crazy, and we like that because there's no three-point on the back of a bulldozer usually. And this here is the ripper. I'm going to jump to the front again. I apologize if the motion is a little jerky, but... There you go. Now there is a big ripper. We're going to be trying to tear some holes through the ground. So now they offer two blades. And I'm very excited to say that these blades actually do something for once, unlike the excavators we've had till now. So this first blade is a leveling blade. It's good for pushing uh, wood chips around, silage, all that good stuff, which is going to be excellent for all of you silage farmers. And the second one is a plow so this one will push snow and it'll also allow create fields and that is what i'm most excited about you know you can make roads with this using your landscape paint but without further ado we, we really got to get into this thing and check it out so i know that the ladder folds on this when i climb in and that's what i want to see now there we go oops our three-point hitch got attacked door is open Okay, ladder's away. That's cool. And I don't see anything else special about it just yet. We're going to turn on all these lights, so see what we got. <laughs> Beast. So yeah, you get your front lights first. And then we got corner lights, railing lights, I guess. Backup lights. Still nothing on the cabs. And step three. Now we got all the lights on. My goodness, that is a lot of light. I can't wait to try this thing out once it gets dark. That is going to be a lot of fun. Too bad it's early morning here. So, let's see what else can we do. All right, lights off. We, we got to try this thing out. I apologize to my little hitcher. That was not necessary, but it is what it is. I'm going to be trying this thing out on the plow, especially with that new three-point unit there. Somehow, magically, we got a cylinders all attached and hoses. That's cool. And for my purposes, I don't have any silage or anything, so I'm not even going to worry about the silage blade. We all know what that is. What we really want to get at is the plow. The actual plow blade. There we are. So, let's go destroy some stuff. Let's see where I'm at. Alright, I think my fields are further out this. Well, no, they're out that way somewhere. So, I'm gonna go and destroy some stuff. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video and uh, we'll fast forward. So while I'm making my way over to the fields, I figure we might as well get a little shot of the interior. Roof looks pretty bare, but uh, that gauge looks really nice, the whole gauge cluster. Uh, that all looks really good. We got lots of really nice, well thought out uh, warning stickers everywhere. Dual cup holders. All that looks great. It's got a nice seat. Very well laid out. And all of our switches down there. 
So I can't quite tell what switches are what, but I'm guessing lots of those are lights. Because what I see, I'm driving with lights on right now, and it says work lighting on the instrument panel. And so if I pop on double, now it shows a little blob in front of the bulldozer, which should be a high beam. And then now we got three different blobs. So that's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. Now we got it on top of the cab and all around and by the ripper too. So it shows what kind of lighting you got going on. That is really cool. And we're just going to stick with number one. So I thought that was really cool, worth mentioning. Uh, one thing I am going to try right now, I'm going to try if I steer, see if my joysticks move. Not really. Well, maybe in the next update. We can always hope, right? Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we can lower. All right. And uh, we're pushing dirt from the look of it. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's just kind of doing the plow function. That's not bad. I can live with that. And then we have allow create fields, which will be really nice. Really looking forward to trying some of that. But no, this works pretty good. I cannot complain. Wow. Okay. So we'll lift the dozer attachment. And we're going to lower that uh, back tooth right now. Let's see what happens. It looks like that just makes a really narrow strip. Well, it's probably worth something, I guess. I could probably draw a bunch of stuff. That's my guess. That's kind of cool. I guess it'd be really nice if you're drawing out the lines of your map and then, or of your field, and then later you take your blade and make your uh, field entirely. That's what I'm guessing that's good for. But good enough. So everything works as it should, which makes me very excited. Uh, what we need to try next is see if we can pull that mighty plow with uh, this thing and if we can how well can it do it so we'll be back with the three point attachment can we just take a moment to appreciate how big this uh, three point hitch mechanism is this is a full size telehandler and uh, that's all the load this thing can take it's actually a little bit bouncy if we're being honest and so I'm gonna be putting it on this light duty trailer and uh, we're gonna see if that truck's not just gonna do wheelies so here we go as you can see she's uh, just a little bit touchy so I, I gotta really watch out that I do this right so that I don't you know drop my load here oh. Seems to be catching the trailer already. Please don't fall. Please, please, please don't fall through. Did we do it? My goodness, it's sticking through the trailer. I don't know if that's going to work. There we are. Uh, that came through. But you know what? We're not going to worry about it as long as it stays put. And just look at this blade. This is the same as the uh, plowing blade. And look at the size of this thing. I mean, it's, it is something incredible. I really want to get underneath and see if I can lift it. Imagine how this on your telehandler. Yeah. <laughs> There's everything you need to know about that blade right there. That is a monstrous blade. I don't even know if I have a tractor big enough to lift that other than the bulldozer itself. Alright, so we'll be over at the uh, field and we'll see you there. I want to do another size comparison. So there's our pickup and look how much... Like that, that's a jacked up pickup right there, you know. It's got like an 8 inch lift on it. And it's still only as tall as the tracks. So that is pretty darn incredible. So we're going to see if we can hook up that uh, unit and maybe we'll get to do some plowing. 
Backup lights are a nice touch. Yeah, I'm probably going to bring that telehandler out here and tip that thing off. All right, we'll be right back. Well, we didn't need a telehandler. We just simply pushed it off the trailer. But we're about ready to try plowing with this thing. I have a feeling it's going to tear everything apart. Like it's not even going to flinch. But I will, because we're being stupid on Farm Simulator, that is the name of the game after all. I want to load this thing up on that uh, light duty little trailer just to torture my truck. Because you know, what What else is the key point of Farm Simulator other than creativity and uh, absolute destruction of vehicles? I see a problem already. My <laughs> ramps are not wide enough. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere beneath me is a uh, trailer. <laughs> that truck is not having a good day. Nope. And neither is that trailer. That thing is mangled. Look at that, just squishing it right through the ground. Well, that was fun. But we, we were here for an important mission. And that was to hook up to this big old plow and see how we do. I am probably gonna have to take off that uh, coupler. So I'm gonna pull this aside and uh, I'm gonna use another tractor to uh, undo the coupler and then we'll move on after that. Once again, I just have to appreciate the size difference. Like, if you look at that Challenger, that is no small tractor at all. That there is a behemoth of a tractor and yet it is dwarfed by this uh, bulldozer. So that is really fun. I'm glad they stayed with uh, the correct proportions for this unit because we all know that the D11 is just the monster of bulldozers. So let's get this thing all loaded up and let's see how we do plowing. Now obviously it shows uh, 14 is my top speed, cruise is only set for 12. So we're, we're not going to be plowing fast per se. Oh yes, we can lower. There we are. We actually have to lower it to hook it up to the plow, eh? Shoot. I kind of want to see what happens if I lift it. <laughs> uh, yeah. That ain't good. <laughs> that plow is already floating in the air. Uh, just for safety's sake, we're going to fold it one time. Because we know how this stupid thing likes to flip on us once in a while. and unfold and we'll lower there we are ready for this guys here we go look at the throttle just immediately flies over to 12 and that's just where it stays that was just not even a threat so much less than that this thing is just eating things and I mean, I guess we could always just drop the blade and start plowing that way too. Make things a little easier. But why when we don't have to? Plow does enough work for us. I have a suspicion that this thing probably plows about half as wide as that plow there. Maybe I'm wrong, but I have the suspicion. Man, th this here is just amazing. I cannot wait to finally go and do some roads and stuff. So we're going to uh, detach that there. We're going to go over to the cultivator. It's a nice wide cultivator. Right there at the end. And we're going to test that bad boy out. See how we do with that. Alright, well, what we should do, we should hire us a worker this time. And see how fast that throttle will flip over to... 12 clicks an hour so hire worker there we go like just look at that it just right away throws the throttle over immediately and we're doing top speed in no time at all so we'll dismiss worker and we'll uh, see what our next mission will be 
So what else can we do with our bulldozer? Uh, anything with a three point really. I just attached a sprayer and wouldn't you know it, it works. Although I have nothing in it so I can't show you that it's spraying. But uh, yeah, and you can lift up and if you want some extreme height, we can also lift the entire attachment. Now you can spray over your cornfield. So that is one option and uh it seems pretty cool i don't see it as being practical but hey who am i to judge if you guys want to spray your fields with a d11 cat by all means do you guys fancy raking up your hay or silage with a uh, beautiful bulldozer this too can happen as you see we have pto power <laughs> and it sounds like the tracks are running I come closer you can hear it so uh, apparently the PTO makes the track sound because as soon as I turn off my PTO then it wants to stop so that is interesting let's see what else we got should you fancy you need to mow your lawn and you need to do it in uh, a very classy way this is also an option just for those of you who also want to trim your hedges while you're at it there's a perfect trimming height I bet you we could even sharpen our blades like this we got a pretty good view so everybody knows that uh, these caterpillar uh, bulldozers are very well known for working in the jungles working in the bush pushing down trees all that good stuff yeah anything forestry related these things are just prime so for my last entry of things you can hook up on your three point that are utterly ridiculous i gotta show you what i got going on so i know this is a mod and you can get it but what i have there is a little table saw that is for a massey and uh, i'm gonna show you guys what's going on first off let's uh lower the dozer attachment because that's way too high and uh, we're also gonna lower the saw bench so that's kind of cool now we can turn on the saw as so and I wonder if it'll stay on if I climb out no it does not I would have to change my settings to leave my engine running that is a lot of liters of diesel to waste just to make one tiny little saw run and as you can see it's running off of a belt that connects to a gearbox attached to your PTO. So this thing is utterly ridiculous. I enjoyed making this stupid video and I hope you guys had some fun watching. Uh, I'm gonna go and see if I can cut down some trees and see if I can cut some firewood with this firewood table. So if you guys have any uh, comments or anything you wanna share, you leave that in the comments below. And if you're new or you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. And uh, I guess as always, have a good day. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.